Hey, it's Rachel. How is everybody? How are you guys doing? I have yet another unboxing. Um, I promise you I just don't spend all my money on yarn, but when I do indulge, I like to share the experience because it's like a little mini Christmas morning. The two yarn deliveries I have were from Lady Dye. And one was supposed to arrive, they were both supposed to arrive months ago. So I bought one expecting it in July or August and I bought one expecting it in September. And um, just, I know, I think she was really busy. She was expanding her space. Um, she did keep me really well informed that it was gonna be a little later than expected. And then they, they just both shipped within a week of each other and I happened to get both. Okay. So Lady Dye is another independent yarn dyer. These are two clubs that she had. So like the clubs are limited release. So this was the summer classic box. So it was supposed to be inspired by classic movies and just, um, I don't know, specifically like there was on the, on the advertisement, there was like a picture of Jaws and the Goonies. And I was like, hey, I like those movies. So I just bought it. Okay. so. Here's the color, the color of the yarn. It is multicolored. There is blue, there is white, there is black, there is orange, there is, um, not orange, there's gold. Oh my Lord. It's like a Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dream Code. So this was the mini summer classic. And actually, um, the mini sets weren't bad. This was like $30. Um, let's see, it's just an apology about the long delay. The colorway is called Summer Classics, and then it comes, this comes with a knit pattern um, by Cairo Ramaguera. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but they're basically fingerless gloves, Let's see. But it also comes with a couple of other little doodads. And you know, I'm a doodad person, so it looks like we have some stitch markers. And this is a pin. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it's a little pin that says Classic Knitter. That's fun. Um, and then coffee. It looks interesting. I mean, I mean that in a good way. I don't mean that in a bad way. I love coffee. Pour yourself a nice strong cup of coffee. Get ready to knit something good. There's just instructions on the back and it involves a French press. And that's what I'm reading. I'm getting distracted. But that's, this is the mini summer classic by Lady Dye. Okay. So that's my first little mini kit. The second kit, um, so we're in quarantine. I really got into uh, the show Schitt's Creek. My God, ew, David. And I realized as I was stalking Lady Di's site that she was gonna release a Schitt's Creek kit. I missed out on the initial release, but then she had extras and she released them for sale. So I took advantage of it. And again, this was very reasonable in price. It was a little more expensive, um, but not by much. Um, so this is the Schitt's Creek Club. And let's see, there's a little, there's a couple stickers um, with some lines from the show. That would make sense. There is a soap. Well, based off the smell, I'm gonna assume it's a soap. Yes, it is. From the Rose Apothecary. Let's see. And then this is just, Stating the colorway. So here's the yarn. This colorway is called Just Pretentious Enough. So here's what really sold me on this kit. Because when she released pictures of the first um, release, the little stitch markers, and they're really cute and they're very unique to the show. There's one that says, Ooh, David, Fold in the Cheese, which is my favorite episode, <laughs> The Rosebud Motel, and a funky sweater. And then we have a little knitting bag here. And it also says fold in the cheese. And this came with a pattern um, with a Ravelry code for the unwind shawl on Ravelry. So I will check that out. Um, but here are both the kits, the summer, the mini summer classic and the Schitt's Creek. Thank you and happy knitting.